Hey guys, welcome to another Modified Monday, the show where we give you an inside look at an iRacing season. So apologies for not getting Modified Mondays out on Monday this week. Uh, usually my strategy is I'll race in the morning and then I will go ahead and edit the video at night. But unfortunately this week I had a work conflict, so I ended up having to work on Sunday um, and didn't get any editing done, so I couldn't get the video out. And then last night, we had the final race of the Short Track Weapons Winter Season, uh, so I was shellcasting that over on Twitch. Uh, YouTube stream wasn't working for some reason, but the video's over there on Twitch. I'll be exporting that over to YouTube so you guys can see that. Or if you don't feel like waiting, you can jump over to twitch.tv slash cmdrrithwald. Uh, go check out the video footage there. It was a really close one. David Oliver and Garrett Lamb were fighting for the championship. Only one point separated the two drivers. I won't ruin the rest with any spoilers, but you'll definitely want to check out that race. It was nice and close. Uh, I was working with Scott and Gino on the car this week. They were helping out a great deal, so big shout out to those guys for their help. Got the car feeling pretty good. Seems like the tune that I had last season with a little bit of camber adjustment is exactly what I needed uh, for this track. Yeah, not much else to talk about, so let's get into some racing. All right, here we are at Concord Speedway. We're starting in 10th place today. Everyone was really close on the timing board. We just uh, were a little off the pace. So we're going green flag, coming around for turn number one. Adam and Kenneth going side by side into turn number two. Kenneth bumps the roll bar and he goes sideways. Oh, and unfortunately we get caught up in the wreck there. Stall the car out, gonna have to restart that. Not how we wanted to end turn number two of the race. Gonna have to bring that into the pits, get it repaired. So that will put Dave Fuge in first place. Adam running in second place. We're able to use that quick restart, quick fix on the pits, get ourselves back on the track. Only a couple laps down. Coming out of the pits next to Dave. Adam getting around us. Trying our best to get up to speed coming out of four or out of three. And Michael Drisco ends up bumping us a little bit. We kind of pulled a Kenneth Hawkins there, came down a little low. He hit our bumper bar. Uh, that's going to flip a whole bunch of people. David B. White is on his hood there, uh, smoking up. Gonna get that car restarted and uh, try and bring it around to the pits. But uh, yeah, not looking good. Our first lap out after the repair and uh, we're immediately back to the pits. Pretty terrible race. Not so much for Dave Fuge though. There's a pretty sizable lead coming through, uh, through the pack. Quite a few laps later, not much has changed. Everyone's pretty much stayed in the same position they've been in. Adam is chasing down Dave. Nice red paint scheme on the inside. Here's a rear view look of Dave's car. Shows the gap between him and Adam behind. But Adam holding solid in second place. They've thrown a lot of camber in that right front tire. Really helping them turn through these corners.
And here we have a look at Michael Drisco trying to hunt down, currently sitting in third, trying to hunt down Adam for second place. Not gaining too much. And with that, Dave Fuge is going to hold on for your win. Uh, we're going to end the race in 13th place. Watch the entire thing from the comfort of the pit box. But there you have it. Dave Fuge in first place, Adam Shane in second, and Michael Disco in third. I need a drink after that one. Really isn't any way to sugarcoat that one. It sucked. Yeah, unfortunately, I just got caught up in that wreck on turn two. Uh, came out. That second wreck was definitely my fault. I came down a little too much. Just a mess. Not the way I wanted this week to go. Uh, let's see how that affected the standings. Daniel Lee Stevens dominates the Division 5 standings. With over 70% of his finishes in the top five, he's going to be hard to beat this season. John Kenny continues his climb up the ladder, settling in at second this week. Mike Payton also moves up, claiming the third spot. Scott Peppers enters the top 10 in fourth. Cameron Stone enters the top 10 in fifth. Wade Cohn secures the sixth spot. Erden Can Attic maintains his seventh place position. Our buddy Adam Shane enters the top 10 in the eighth spot after his second place finish this week. Blair Patterson makes the top 10 in ninth. And Landon Beerfriend falls all the way from 2nd to 10th after missing racing last week. I'm currently sitting in the 19th place after my disappointing 13th place finish. So this weekend's pretty cool. Uh, we're racing at Thompson in iRacing. And I'm going to be going to the Icebreaker at Thompson this weekend. They're going to have Wayland Tour mods on Sunday, some Valenti and SK mods on Saturday. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to spend on Saturday. I'm going to try and maybe catch some of the night races there, uh, but I'll definitely be there on Sunday for the Wayland Tour mod. So if you guys are in the New England area uh, and you want to go out to Thompson, uh, be on the lookout for me. Feel free to swing by and say hi. Uh, it'd be really cool to meet some people here from iRacing. But yeah, we're going to be doing some iRacing at Thompson, some real world at Thompson. I'll get some video footage for you guys. You can see what the real world action there is like and how it compares to what happens in iRacing. Hopefully we don't have as many accidents this week at iRacing. The accidents are really killing my season. Yeah, we need to get ourselves into the top 10. Uh, we were in the top 10 last week, fell out this week. We got to get back there. So let's see if we can rile something together. Stay tuned and we will get another modified Monday for you next week. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for another week of Modified Mondays. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And if you really liked the video, be sure to share. Uh, sharing is caring. And, uh, yeah, it helps me out a lot. So be sure to do that. Uh, we'll be back again from Thompson for next week's Modified Monday. And I'm really looking forward to it. So let's get some racing going. Peace.